problem of trying to get a little bit better every time we stepped on the floor. Uh, but, but, you know, I, I mean, it's, it's my job to keep trying to find ways to better this team in an X and O environment uh, out on the floor during the course of games. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I think we're heading in the right direction. But if I feel like that I need to make a, a change, I'll, I'll make a change. Coach, uh, you know, Kobe's about 35% shooting over the last seven. You know, his fatigue, he has 134 more field goal attempts than anyone else in the league. Is there going to be a more concerted effort to to try to feed the bigs? And obviously, Powell's been playing pretty well. Andrew's been shooting pretty good percentages. Just going to be a more concerted effort to get the big guys the ball. Yeah, there always is a concerted effort to get the big guys the ball. But, but, I mean, if you're a basketball mind and you think about double teaming anybody, the easiest place to double team somebody is on the post because everybody works on it. The rotations are very easy coming out of a double team on the post. And so, you know, we, we have gotten the ball to our bigs on the post, but the, the reality of it is both those guys, especially Andrew, have been doubled hard and doubled quick. And uh, so sometimes they don't even get a shot off because we kick it into them and then they kick it out. Sometimes we'll go back into them and then they got to kick it out again and somebody on the perimeter has to make plays. So we're going to keep trying to give them touches uh, throughout the course of the game and, and make sure that we control uh, uh, their minutes and Kobe's minutes as best as possible. After a big comeback from Meta, did you see a different Meta in the last game and are we going to see maybe a little more of the offensive end from him? What do you mean after my big comeback? Well, I mean, you had the line about his 192nd ranking in defense in the league and the fact that, <laughs> you know, you know the, the line where you said that, you know, if it were up to stats, you wouldn't be playing at all right now. Certainly be playing behind the other guys. So I mean, he did play pretty well in the last game. I'm just wondering if that, I mean, we never know with him, but I mean, what do you see? I mean, he's, he's played well for us. I mean, we're 6-3 and three since he started. Uh, every game he's gotten better. Um, his percentages have gone up since he started. So I... I mean, I, I don't think just because I said that he played he played better in the last game, but I, I thought he's been playing well for us, you know, and I, I think he will continue to play well because he's working extremely hard on on continuing to try to improve in areas where uh, he hasn't been good. Going back to Paul, Paul Gasol, uh, how, how, how do you assess how he's played this season? Have you expected more from him than what he's given you in the, in the games? No, I mean, Powell's getting a double-double for us, and I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much more I can expect. I mean, he's getting 17 and maybe 10 or 11. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty good basketball. And, you know, yeah, do I wish he got 32 and 27? <laughs> yes. I mean, I wish Andrew got that too and, and you know, and so on and so forth. But, uh, you know, he's contributing very well from that position, getting a double-double. And not only that, I mean, he's a guy that facilitates for us a lot, too, uh, at that elbow area. So if you combine his double-double with the way that he passes the ball and how we play through him at times uh, at that free throw line, I think he's playing well this season. Yeah. Has there been an update on Derek Fisher? I'm sorry if I missed it at the beginning. Oh, no, no. He, I mean, he, he's at shoot around. He was at shoot around. He'll start tonight. Okay. Yeah. Any minute limitations with that? I'm sorry. Any minute limitations with that? Uh, no. What type of luxury is it with a guy like Kobe when there's an injury and there's just that presumption they're going to play as a coach for you? Like, you know, the luxury that it is for like that type of those type of players when you can just kind of oh it, no, I mean it's it's a good thing to have when you have guys that uh, mentally, physically uh, tough and, and willing and wanting to play through almost anything and everything that uh, happens to them. Yeah, you know, it, it doesn't happen a lot in the league, but, uh, you know, you mentioned two guys for sure that definitely uh, try to do it on a night-in, night-out basis.